peace and blessings be upon you and your loved ones thank you so much for joining this one we are going to talk about a very specific topic and uh, what inspired me was this is something that i've been working on myself for over the last 4 months and uh, it has been pretty much successful in the way i do think the way i use vocabulary and terminologies and stuff like that and what what inspired me a lot of things inspired me to make this making this one video but one of the things in one of the videos way back it was a real way back way way back i don't even remember when Uh, a guy was being interviewed. I don't even know who. It's like it was like a motivation video, and I watched it. And what the the in, the person was asking this guy who came as a guest to the show, he asked, "What are what do you teach to entrepreneurs?" That was the question. And this guy who is being interviewed, he said, "We teach entrepreneurs everything. We teach them how to make money, relationships." how to manage finances how to how to how to how to uh, yeah about your health about your relationships spirituality habits about your life about your health about everything because if you think about it if you're watching this spin video the way we do things as entrepreneurs are way different than the way the way the world do things and we are like the one person of the whole population and uh, we i don't know the percentage of it but then if you actually think about it we are very less and there are nobody the way we think the way we talk the way we communicate the way we have a conversation it's very different than other people so the, what is one of the reasons that inspired me to making this video is like this this is going to be the first video on the whole channel that i've gone where i'm introducing something called i want to have everything 360 degrees that has been helping me on this channel because i know it's very difficult for entrepreneurs to do things it's even more difficult for introvert entrepreneurs to be doing things because we come from a specific mindset we come from a specific background and we are not able to take an action execute things and we need to be learning so many things at one go so if you need any help like you can just search on that key on youtube key you will find something or the other that has been helping me and i'm going to post anything that has been helping me one of the things that one of the topics that came into my mind two days back yesterday like okay how can you come out of your own created mess it's a very wide topic but i'm going to create something around that because we don't know how do we come out and now we being already entrepreneurs we are working on systems we are working on making money we are working on courses and something happens on the emotional part of it how do you deal with it so that this doesn't get impacted because this only got impacted now you need to come out of it how are you going to come out of it like we don't know like we are stuck okay we are emotionally clouded and how can you come out so there were a lot of incidences in my life as well so like <clears throat> this series is going to be talking about the whole thing is like i don't know i'm not giving it anything but then uh, this channel is going to have everything that is going that is that has been helping me in one way and second is going to be beneficial for you as a that brings us to the conclu- conclusion Starting the work conclusion. Now we are going to the beginning of this one video. In this one video, we are going to talk about five vocabulary lessons for introvert entrepreneurs. Now this is this is big time for me. Uh, vocabulary lessons like this is the stick English teacher stick. Like we have to condition ourselves in a lot of ways so that we can do a lot of things in a better way. Uh, point point number one is. Uh, when I say vocabulary lessons, it's more on the lines of see, it's it's vocabulary, the way we use it, the way we condition it, the way marketing people use it, the way we can market a lot of things, and how can we shift a lot of things from this point in the this point in that way. Five things we are going to talk about. First point number one is to changing the name from if, turning, replacing the words from if to when. If you buy my product today, you are going to get these benefits. Now, when you say if. I, you are actually telling them you are already fifty fifty percent of buying. One of the examples that I say, well, the example that I learned <coughs> a couple of years back when it comes to if to when was when a military soldier is leaving the station and saying uh, uh, saying his mother bye bye. Okay, this was one of the one of the one of the examples to narrate. Someone said this in in a lecture, and I was like, dude, that's so so inspiring. So when the soldier goes away and says mother bye bye, and the soldier goes away. Now, when now think about the mother's perspective from here. What is the mother going to be praying for? If my son back comes back, if my son comes back, I'm going to prepare him this food. When my son comes back, I'm going to prepare him this food. Which one is she be going with? If or when? If is like it's like fifty fifty. He'll come back or not? When is she is hundred percent sure? that she's going to come back so when we when we kind of slightly change the way we think about things the way we use our own terminologies 
it's going to be so much more impactful the way now when say you're making the sales pitch you're going to make the sales pitch or you've already made the sales pitches or you're going to make the sales pitch anyways <clears throat> in any either of either of the cases now when you say if you're going to buy my product you are 50 50 percent already conveying the message like you might not come inside the community you're already saying that to them now when you say when you join in today you're using when as well as today what happens is they are being primed and prepared already that they are going to be part of the community now. Point number one, that's very powerful. Point number two, I, I cannot go much on it because I don't know much science on this one. This is, this is something that I've been helping and coaching and mentoring people as well on these few things which are helping me, them as well as I thought like this is going to be beneficial for you. Point number two is one, this one thing I've kind of learned in the last week of December 2021 and I have been geeking out on this one and it took me three months to internalize the words that i mean i'm going to say generally we say and thought process in, in the whole world today in the industry whatever that is is replacing the word can to will okay i can do it okay instead of that i'm going to use the word i will do it it's more powerful and it's more impactful point number one the second one is we want to change we want to make i want to make money i want to make a million dollars that's one way of saying it the alternate and more impactful and powerful way of saying is i need to make a million dollars it has got that voice to it tone to it we are moving from can to will want to need now what if we go all the way from these four words can will want need and replace all these four words with just one word shall s h a l l i shall make money i shall travel five countries i shall be giving this amount of money in the contribution i shall be making this amount of impact and when you start saying i shall reduce weight i shall gain muscle when you keep on saying shall 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 what is what is what is already happening is you it's i think from my perspective this one word of five letter is one of the most powerful words when it comes to replacing can, will, want, need. It, it will do the job. It's like, I shall do this. I shall ascend that con. I shall launch my course. I shall do this. And keep on saying this, saying this, saying this, saying this. One day, you shall start using this terminology. Moving on to the third one. This is something that I've learned. This is one word, but, B-U-T, not B-U. It's just B-U-T, but. Uh, and this is something that I've, we all know the usage of the word, but. And this is something I've learned from Alex Sarmozy very recently. Where that is like, let me put this as a topic. It's one video. When you start talking about, say, uh, there are like two, two pieces of the whole sentence. Like, you are going to, you are going through this struggle, but when you join my community, you are not going to face this struggle. One way of saying it. You have a negative statement, but a positive statement. Now, when you're replacing it, you are going to, when you join my community, you're going to, when, when you join the community, you're going to uh, get these results, but you are now facing these problems, full stop. Immediate change of the tone, but the, this, you're using but, and when you have a negative statement after that, you're ending a statement with a negative statement that will impact the psychology of the person. If you replace it and you have a positive statement after but, you were facing these challenges, but when you join this community, you're going to get these, these things. You were facing, you, you were going through this struggle, but when you buy this one thing, you are going to, you can get the right thing so smooth. When you, you were already, say, for example, you already had this challenge. But when you start implementing this process, process A, B, C, D, you are going to get that one specific result. You, the moment you start, this, this all has to do with mindset and psychology. Most of the people have, and I anyway skip this one video, but then think about it. When you can replace the whole way of the tone of the sentence from say, neg you're starting it negatively, escalating it to positive part of it. What will happen after that? When you want to sell something, you, you can easily sell because now you have taken that emotion as like a, I was going through this problem, but I implemented these things and I got these results. I'm going to give you these results for free. Or uh, this is what I'm going to share you in the next video, in this video, in this podcast. Like you can keep on shifting that part of it. Negative to positive, you know, like N to P. The fourth one is when you are making the sales pitch or when you are talking to, you are recording a podcast, writing a blog, right, recording a video. Fourth point is you, not you all. 
you always say you you are not talking to the group you are talking to that one person even there are like seven people inside the room 70 people inside the room 700 people inside the room you are when you are talking in the camera when you are recording it you always use the word you not you all this is for you all welcome you all when you all come inside the no that means you are talking to the crowd you are not talking to me when you start using the terminologies can kind of shift it like this course is for you welcome to this one call thank you so much thank you thank thank you all no thank you for joining and because they are watching the whole group no matter how many people are inside the room they are watching you and and and, and interacting with you individually treat them individually so that you will get to know how of an impact you're going to make like they feel like hey, this guy is talking to me there are so many instances so many incidences when you're watching a lecture this video that video whatever that is when you when people say you it's literally to you now i'm talking to you i'm not talking to 700 people not 70 people no say i'm just talking to that one you i'm just talking to you that's all this video is just made for specifically for you a lot of people have started this video yes but you stay till the you stay all the way till fourth point you are special you are an action taker go make create courses and start making money because you have the potential of doing it you have dreams you have got that potential to reach you you have a potential you have a potential to reach who will, who is going to take you there it's you who is going to take you there when you start using this this terminology it so happens that it it goes so within you that like it, it it has that impact some in you now the another word is the fifth point is now when you're starting to use you 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 all the time uh, the, the 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 next phase you can go in when you're making the sales page you start recognizing the names of the people you can start taking names of people we don't we, we undervalue this so much but then start taking people's name all the time all the time the security guard the waiter the person next to you the people next to you pray the the person who is who has just given you the book like you take this book and can pass it thank you what can i call you like taking the name immediately and replacing you with the new one happens is this, this is something that i've learned from my mentors like the sweetest name of a person is the person's the sweetest thing i can hear is my name no matter who calls it it's like okay like when someone calls fazil no matter what type of tone that is i'm going to do, tell me <laughs> How many times that has happened? When you go to a restaurant and you're eating, someone from that side is like, they're just like, hey, they're calling your name. When they call your name, that's like the sweetest voice that you're going to hear. So start, and it is going to put an instant smile on the people. Now this is something that my mentor said. Like when you are doing the sales space, sales webinar, whatever that, whatever sales you're doing, when you start taking their name on the first two, three minutes of their joining in, we start like, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. You take the name and thank you so much for joining. When you start taking those names, those are the people who are more likely to get converted towards the end of a session. See the magic happening. The members, the names that I have been taking when I'm mentoring, like when I'm mentoring like 90, 100 people, the members that have been, that I have been personally taking the names across the session, I might not remember them. But then more likely, these are the group of people who are actually giving great feedback to me i don't know that but then what happens is when i started to understand the pattern of the psychology it has started to this was true like okay when i when i take your name you are going to either get inside the community or leave a great feedback or whatever that is like the bond is building or the relationship is building over there that brings us to the conclusion of this vocabulary relationship for network entrepreneurs this is one way you can use it for marketing for emails for funnels whatever that is and even in your daily vocabulary you can keep on using it the the more you use it the more impact you are going to face and see that brings us to the conclusion of this one video. thank you so much for making this vocabulary lessons see terminologies that you need to be learning thank you so much i'm going to see you in another exciting video <laughs> الغروح ويبرأ جروح الكسير الجريح وينشط ذا